Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. That's right. We're back here on the Sky Island. We've got a little bit of progress to show, and then we are going to redo that dragon fight. Yep. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. You heard it here. We have to redo that dragon fight. You remember when we were last in there? We've got some stuff in here. Don't, don't mind that right now. But I went back and checked that footage after we got done recording that episode. And sure enough, I got to 100% in this RF tool syringe. I got to 100%. I don't know why it dropped 90%. It could be a bug. Maybe I should have hit the dragon a couple more times just to be sure. Maybe it was some sort of client and server desync issue. And I say server and client here. I'm not running this as a server. I am running it on single player, just on my machine. But behind the scenes, Minecraft does run as a client server application. So maybe there was some sort of a desync and there was something, I don't know. But to get to 100%, I need to redo the dragon fight. I had hoped I would not have to do that, but such is life. Before we get to what we need to do for that though, I have to show you a few things. First, we see these two random grass blocks with flowers on them. Why in the world would we have that? Well, let's bring up the F3 screen and we are going to go step on this block and we're going to look in the top left corner. I'm going to see if I can bring up the screen here and this says planes, right? Okay, let's go back over to here and you see that the biome changed to roofed forest. Okay, so I planted a flower in two biomes right there. And then if we come over here, let's not fall into the void. Okay and see that's beach, and then we'll come over here. Let's see if we got, yep, here we go, ocean. And then we'll come over here to another one, right like so, and boom, a river. It's hard to see with the background. You can see it kind of right there. So anyway, I have planted a flower in five separate biomes, so we can check off that part of the age of exploration. So let's come in here, boom, done. All right, next, hatch a dragon egg and train it. I ain't doing it, not yet. Uh, dragons are very destructive, but I did go back and get the dragon egg. We see that? Yeah, I went back to the end, grabbed that, okay. So we are going to be moving on. Let's continue here. Craft a tr chunk loader, all right? So there's a couple different types of chunk loaders. Mine Factory Reloaded has one, and then Chicken Chunks has one. It's pretty simple. We're going to grab that, put the chunk loader in. Hmm, 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 hmm. Where, where should we put it? Maybe we should bring up the chunk borders. Okay, I want it at least where my ME system is, so we will do it right there. Okay, nine chunks by default. Okay. Uh, I'll have to read up on how to do that, but I think by default it will do a three by three square, a chunk, a three chunk by three chunk square around it. So that'll make sure to get all of my ME system and my processing. It won't quite get my farms over there, but I've turned most of those off because we have produced a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. You see this right here, Manicio Essence, we're at 204K. Is that one? I don't think, no, that one's not going anymore. And then I've started auto exporting diamonds. Let's see if we can bring that up. Yeah, we don't have diamond essence in the system anymore. That's exporting to a crafter. And so it's automatically turning into regular diamonds right there. We got 16,000 diamonds, plenty, plenty. Let's see what else has been done. You see, we've got a little bit cleaner setup right here, right? And I'm still cleaning up. We still got, I need to move the, uh, what is this? The lava generation and all of that. I had a suggestion from a viewer to put it over in this section, which is not a bad idea. A dedicated cobble gin section. I think I think that might be the case. We still have to figure out where to put the move fluids. We'll take care of that a little later. Then we go down here. I have moved all of the export stuff down a little further below here. 
And right now what we've got is, like I said, we're going to have four banks of auto crafting and then put some more computers in here. So right now we've just got the two crafting computers and the four sets of crafters. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to go any more sets of, of crafting because we've got plenty. We've got plenty of room left in all of those, so I think we'll be good. I have added another bank of these deep storage units just in case, but we're not using any of them because we're not even using up all of these. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think what we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's see. No, those are taken up. So seven, eight, eight left. Uh, no, no, not quite. One, two. Anyway, some number less than eight. So anyway, we're, we're, we haven't even used up this bank, so we're not going to start using this bank yet. But down here, all of the exporting that I was previously doing in the rat's nest of cables up there, I've brought down here. We're using the ME dense cable from Ender.io, and that lets you put all 32 channels on one cable so you don't have to split it up with dense cable and, and regular cable. Oh, you can see a slime meeting his demise over there. Goodbye, slime. So we've got 20 of 32 used and all of the exports are happening. Down here, I've moved a lot of the ore processing. I have not tried it yet. I just moved it. We're gonna have to try it off camera because there are some issues up on the ME system. Right up here. If items come in too fast to this Tesseract, because it is set to receive items, if items come in too quickly, that the ME interface cannot handle, then stuff gets pushed to this alloy smelter and this alloy smelter by default. We don't want that. Oh, stuff also goes into this induction smelter and it throws off crafting recipes later. We have to move all of this auto smelting, auto processing stuff to another area. That's gonna come in another episode. So I'm not gonna be trying out the, uh, the auto processing or processing until later. Anyway, enough about that. Wait, did we cross off chunk loader? Yeah. All right, next, what we're gonna do is go into the Draconic Era. So Age of the Dragons. Have we done any of these? I don't think we have. But what we need to do is uh, resurrect one of the dragons. Okay, we're going to work on that today. And we're probably going to take care of some of this. In fact, I know we are. But after we sleep, and that's a little time note for me, we will probably have to take a break because I am running up on a time constraint here. But uh, anyway, let's just go through and take care of some of this stuff. We've got, oh, that's the wyvern helm, the draconic armor is what we're looking for over on the other side. So we'll grab that and then we'll grab the leggings. And yes, we're going to have a bunch of achievements coming through. Got the chest plate and you can see that they're already starting to fill up because of my wireless charger. And that's fine. It's a good thing. Okay. We got the boots next up energy core. Yep. I'm going, I'm a completionist as far as the uh, achievements are concerned right here. What in the world is this one for? We're going to come back to that in just a moment. Let's get the shovel just to go all the way through. Sword, bow, and what's this one? Wyvern flux capacitor. We're not going to need most of this stuff. I will let it charge in my inventory, although we've probably maxed out the inner storage of this guy. Let's see. No, we can't tell. Uh, we can put these in here. Those go pretty quickly. So up here, it's that. Oh, it, it stores a lot of RF. Okay, so almost there. It's not that we actually need that. Okay, we're good. What I do need to do now is grab a couple of books. A um, couple of books. Yeah, a couple of books because there's another achievement we need. Uh, this stuff. You know, we'll just keep this on me for now. What I'm going to do is grab a Reaper 5 book, and we're going to put that onto the Sword of the Wyvern because, and let's see if I can get this Control C, Control Click. There is some 
some control here. Let's go down to Draconic, Change Tool Config Profile. Hmm, Tool and Armor, Config GUI. Let's try that, comma, okay. There we go. So we can go in here and we'll go into Item Inventory and we're going to put Reaper 5 onto this sword. The reason why is because that last recipe is part of the Resurrection Stone. And we have to have a mob soul for that. And I've been breeding up these guys just for this purpose. We don't need any of this stuff. As soon as I get a mob soul, we should be good to go. Are we going to get one? Who knows? I've already stored off the other cows and sheep and pigs. And these guys are causing tons of lag because we've got 200 some entities in here. Yeah. Cows or pigs sound the worst. Let's come on. I, I need one, one soul. That's all I need just to get that achievement. Do you see one in here yet? No. We, we still haven't gotten one. I would get... I think I would get an achievement. I'm guessing I would. Not to fear. Uh, just by, by way of admission. I've already put Reaper 5 on all of those diamond spikes in the mob farm. So I've got plenty of mob souls. I just want to get this achievement. And I might not be able to. I might have to do this off camera. Got another hat, but no mob soul. You see one yet? No, nothing yet. No, okay, wow. This is pretty bad. How, how did you get in there? Still no mob soul. Okay, well, I may not get it by, by the end of today. Hat. No achievement. Maybe the hat. Oh, I got the achievement. Good. And we'll just kill the rest of these. All right. So I finally got the the achievement. That means I got um, a sheep mob soul. Good. Okay. Not that I really needed it. We've got plenty of mob souls. Let me just show you. Okay. Type in mob soul. You see that right there? Plenty of them. And we've got plenty of mob souls now. We can just throw all of this stuff into our thing here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab four zombie souls, okay? And we're going to put this into the recipe here, right like so. This gives us the resurrection stone, and there we go. All right, so we should have all of those achievements. Uh, let's go through here. Yeah, let's see. Took that one good. I think we've gotten most of these. If I did my notes correctly and set up all of that stuff correctly, yes, we were good to go so far. The next thing we got to do is actually make some awakened draconium, but that is going to have to be later. And in particular, the rest of this episode, I've got to take a short break. I've got uh, I've got a time commitment coming up. So when we come back from this break, we're going to go to the end, resurrect the dragon, hopefully get my RF tools stuff filled up, and we should be good to go. All right. See you in just a little bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the end. What we got to do, let's take a look at the Draconic Evolution handbook here. And I've already got the ritual pulled up here. This shows what you need and how to put it in the configuration you need you got to be within 150 blocks of zero zero probably to keep you as close to these pillars as possible but what we're going to do is come right about here put down an angel block and then we'll build out with some of the cobble here just so we've got a little platform to go on okay we'll get the angel block back and we'll just do this and it doesn't really matter because this whole thing is probably going to get destroyed. What you've got to do is put, uh, what is it, something like this. And we'll bring back the uh, tablet once we get to that point. Oh, 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 oh. 
I put it in the wrong spot. Do I have, please let me have a silk touch. I should have, that is silk touch. Let's see if it will work for me. Yes, okay. So I put it in the wrong spot. Let's see about that, okay. Now we've got that. It looks like it's in the correct order. We need to go out a couple, what, how many blocks is that? Two, two out. Yes, yeah, so two out from each side and put uh, right here and here and two and two. Now, uh, something else you may notice is down in the bottom right hand of the screen, no, bottom left hand of the screen, you see another little indicator, and that is something that uh, is a result of new armor that I am wearing. I am wearing the draconic armor that we built earlier in the episode because it gives a little bit of a speed boost on these guys. So uh, I'm up to 100%. It's, it's a little bit faster. It's not the fastest in the world, but it should suffice. I'm just messing this whole thing up, aren't I? Let's try and be a little more careful on our block placement. So the reason I need a little bit more speed is because we've got to try and track this dragon down to get the syringe. All right, and we've got, uh, let's see, we can put away this and the excavator, and we should be able to put this away, and then we'll put down the resurrection stone, okay? And let's just take a not so sneaky screenshot. Let's see, maybe maybe like that. The cobble's kind of throwing things off, but there we go. Let's try this again, okay? Because I I forgot to get one when we initially did the dragon. Is that okay? So something is not working. Let's see what could be the problem. Let's go back to our Draconic Evolution Information Tablet. Okay, so we've got what? 12 quartz pillars? We've got that. Oh, I see the problem. I see it. I see it. Uh, what we need to do is bring this back up. Uh, so let me rearrange this. We've got to put all these one further up in the air. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, we should be good to go. Now we've got all of those pillars up one block. Let's see if this works. We right click and it's still not working. So what do we got to do here? Charged draconium blocks. Did we charge that? Let's see. What's the charge on that? Oh, no, those aren't charged. Okay, well, I've got to go back to base. I will meet you back once I have charged these things over in the capacitor bank. All right, we're back again. Third time's a charm, maybe? Let's take a look. Charge draconium lock. It takes 100 million RF. I am glad that I have been building up my capacitor bank. We're up over 450 million Plus each of the, uh, we're up to four of those solar panels. They have 60 million RF in them. So uh, we should, we're, we'll be all right. Anyway, hopefully this is it. Let's see. There we go. All right. And it's rather loud. I'm going to have to work on that off camera. Wow, that's loud. If this seems familiar, it looks like the guys at Moyang were um, highly influenced by this particular sequence and and the 1.10 or 1.9 dragon fight looks very similar so anyway we're gonna get these things going and we've got our crossbow now we just have to wait you see that thing building up in the center there yeah all right, we should be good to go here soon. It looks like it's building up. And then a new dragon will come out of that. 
It's got a model specific to Draconic Evolution. They couldn't use the same one from... I guess they could have used it. They could have just spawned a dragon, but I guess they wanted a new one. My oh my, that's loud. Let's see if we can turn down the sound a little bit. I have no idea what that is even under. So, yeah, I'll just have to turn that down in post. All right, it looks like we've got some action going. There we go. Okay. So, here's our dragon. Let's see if we can get close enough to uh, to maybe, maybe get this syringe here. Okay, it says a hundred, but we shall see. And let's see, hundred, yeah. Okay, so what I want to do, didn't get a hundred there. She's really fast. The Awakened stuff is a whole lot faster than this. And she's got quite the knockback on her, too. My health is doing all right, but we do have... Uh, hunger is going down. Let's see, can we get her? Got a couple on that one. Okay. And we'll just knock these out just for rinse and giggles so she doesn't keep regening. I don't need four of these syringes, but it's nice just in case the bug happens again. Anyway, I'm going to fill these up, and then once it comes time to taking her out, we'll, uh, we'll come back. So it looks like I have all of these at 100%. Okay, so we're going to send those back to the ME system. And now it's time to take her out. So, quite the knockback. And that, I, I want to try for hitting her with the cleaver. So we'll see if we can get that. Yeah, she is really throwing pretty much everybody around. So if I do this, I might, I just might be able to get a dragon head. One more hit. One more hit. Yeah, she's got to turn around here soon. And half the battle is just waiting for her to get close enough. Okay, did I get the heart and the head, some Zavisio Essence, and a bunch of Draconium Dust. Excellent. 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 And now we've got another... Do we have another exit port? No. Okay, so they fixed that. It used to be that you would get multiple exit ports from multiple dragons so I guess they've gotten that done we'll come back and get the dragon egg a little later but there we go ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed that little uh, 
Resurrection of the Dragon, and hopefully this didn't end up too long. We did get uh, we did get the syringes. Actually, let's bring this up. This is going to be annoying. I may go back to the uh, Zavisio armor, but I wanted the faster speed for trying to catch her. So let's take a look here. Yes, 100%. Good. We are good to go. We're good to go. All right. Uh, another thing of note is that over here, I've got an angel ring. I did that off camera because the draconic armor does not do flight uh, by default, or the wyvern does not do flight. The draconic stuff does, and that's what we're going to be getting into with the dragon hearts, but this stuff does not, so you have to have some other flight. So this your armor does flight, but anyway, there we go. So we've got a couple dragon hearts, got an ender dragon head, it's a Visio Essence, and there we go. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to take care of cleaning up my inventory a little later, but there you have it. Let's pull this off, and we'll have to figure out why I'm not getting all my hearts here. Maybe I have to redo that. Huh, weird. Anyway, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode, and if it seemed a little derpy, I'm sorry, but we did get some stuff done. Oh, 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 before before we leave, sorry, let's come over here, and we can say that we are having some issues in our world save file. Anyway, we will take care of that a little later. So... Uh, hopefully it would be sufficient to just log back in or shut down the, the program and bring it back up. We'll see. Hopefully that's not a permanent problem. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on. But that's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.